Okay, uh, figure shows a 35 kilogram block connected to a spring through a smooth pulley. The spring constant is 350 newton per meter. Initially, the block is stationary and the spring is unstretched. If the block is released, yeah, release the block, calculate the speed of the block when the spring is uh, stretched 0 0.5 meter. Okay, good. So, um, so this is also no loss of energy, isn't it? No loss of energy in the form of heat. So we can say this one obey the conservation of mechanical energy. Okay, so this one, ah, uh, uh, this one, conservation of uh, mechanical energy. That means the total initial mechanical energy equal to total final mechanical energy. Uh, there's only potential energy and kinetic energy involved. Okay, remember that. And one more thing here. Okay, one more thing here. Uh, remember, this potential energy is not just the, it's not just the, the potential energy here, it's not just the gravitational potential energy. Yeah, it has both, uh, it includes both gravitational and elastic. Uh, many people only think that potential energy is only the, about the height. Yeah, you forget about the spring, the elastic energy. Uh, potential energy has two kinds. One is gravitational potential energy, one is elastic potential energy. Okay, so now, uh, no work done against friction, yeah? This one, because not in contact with any surface, the no, yeah? Okay, so what can you see? Okay, uh, so we have initial condition and final condition. First of all, identify what's the initial condition and then also the final condition. And then, so this is our initial condition. Okay, what's our final condition? Let me draw it for you. Uh, okay, I draw for you already. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the initial yeah, block at the top. Now, final block dropped below. Okay. Uh, so, uh, how much it dropped actually is how much the spring extension. Uh, so, I put over here. This, it is important. The extension of spring, how much the spring extend, how much the spring extend, is actually how much the block drop. How much the block drop, which is delta H. Uh, the change in height. This delta H, what it means is, um, you know, uh, last time you did learn about this. Uh, this is, uh, we can, uh, you know, we have two height here, you see that? Here is, uh, uh, okay, we have the original height and uh, this is the, this is the, what, what did it say? H1 and this is H2, isn't it? Uh, so, this is the delta H, uh, which is, uh, we take the H1 minus H2. Ah, remember that? The change of height. Uh, so we take the H1, the long one minus the short one, that is the delta delta H. This delta H, delta H, the how much the block drop is actually the same as how much you, you extend the spring. Uh, this is the first concept you should know. Okay? So last time we did learn about um, uh, finding what? Uh, at the first one, uh, this one. Uh, we did use two methods, yeah? This is method one and this is the method two. You see that uh, we uh, we always uh, uh, we we use initial total energy equal to final total energy. Sometimes not necessary to do this. Not necessary to do this. You can just find the change of height, the change of the potential energy equal to the change of kinetic energy. If you understand the reason behind it, so just find the delta H instead of going through the long method. You just do the short method. Uh, change of potential energy result in the change in kinetic energy. How much the potential energy drop will result in how much the kinetic energy increase. Ah, okay. So I use the second method now yeah, for this question. I want to simplify things. Use the second method, change of potential energy become change of kinetic energy. Okay, go back to that question. Yeah? So, so right now, uh, okay, I no need to use this one. I use an easier method which is the uh, it's also obey the conservation of mechanical energy. Yeah? Remember that. So now, what, um, okay, I, uh, what kind of uh, energy changes here? First of all, let's identify, yeah? let's identify what kind of energy changes happening. Yeah? So, okay, initial, initial condition, what kind of energy it exists? What kind of energy? Uh, it has potential energy. First of all, it has potential energy. Uh, put as uh, potential energy of the block. 
Okay, potential energy of the block for initial. Okay. And then, uh, no kinetic energy, no elastic energy in the spring, no yet. Yeah? Now, you release the block. What happened? What happened? Uh, the potential energy of the block drop. Yeah, we put as final. Uh, final, you know, final block potential energy. It lost some energy. Uh, but it also at the same time gain kinetic energy. Do you understand? When this block fall down, it, it, it also gain kinetic energy. It gain the speed, velocity. Uh, you have the velocity V going below. Initially, velocity is zero. Yeah? Initially, uh, initially, the block is uh, stationary. Do you see that? It's initially, it's stationary. So, velocity, U initial velocity is zero. Uh, so, no kinetic energy. Yeah? Initially, no kinetic energy. But then, when the block fall, the block fall, it gain kinetic energy. It gain velocity and gain kinetic energy. So, it has kinetic energy also, kinetic energy of the block. Okay? And one more energy is the elastic energy. Uh, at the same time, the block drop. When the block, block drop, you know, I should draw a pulley over here. I forget to draw the pulley over here. <laughs> when, the, when the block drop, it actually pull the spring. It pull the spring, so the spring now store elastic potential energy. Uh, it store elastic potential energy. So you can see what happening here. Uh, what energy? What actually energy actually drop? It is the potential energy actually drop. Uh, what is the energy gain? It is the kinetic energy and elastic potential energy gain. So what I can how to simplify this formula? I can just say. What is, what is dropping and what is rising? You should know what is dropping and what is rising. Huh? Uh, the, what is dropping? What is dropping and what is rising? What is dropping is the potential energy of the block. Okay? Uh, we can write that as uh, delta U. Uh, delta U of the block. Okay? Delta U of the block. What is rising? What energy is rising? Uh, it is the kinetic energy of the block. Kinetic energy of block increasing the change of kinetic energy of the block uh, B okay uh, and then plus what what energy what energy more is rising ah the elastic potential energy of the block the elastic oh no the elastic energy in the spring because it's being pulled by the is uh, because this spring is being pulled by the falling block uh, and the elastic energy uh, elastic potential energy so you see. Uh, what dropping is the pot gravitational potential energy of the block, but what is rising is the kinetic energy of the block and also the elastic energy stored in the spring. Uh, so I use this simpler method uh, instead of want to put everything down, yeah. Uh, include also the potential energy here, yeah. So the one, yeah. I just make it simple. Uh, this one, uh, actually, this one is actually, yeah. If you want to see, uh, this one, this one is actually we take. The I uh, just want to rub this off. Uh, this one delta U B actually is we just transfer this one to the other side, so uh, it becomes the formula becomes what becomes uh, delta del this delta U B is become the initial minus the final. You see that? Uh, okay, or the big energy minus the small energy. That's why it becomes delta U. Uh, that's why we got this. Okay. Uh, so uh, all right. So let's do it, yeah. Let's do it, yeah. We transfer this to the other side. We got this, uh, okay. So now, now let's do this. So delta U block B, we can put as uh, mg. Sorry, we can put as uh, mg times the delta H of block B. Uh, yeah, delta H of block B, and uh, half. And this is gaining the kinetic energy half mv square. Uh, gaining kinetic energy. Uh, of block B, uh, half mv square plus the elastic energy, half uh, kx, half kx square, the elastic energy of the spring. And one thing is, the delta H block B is the same as elastic energy. No, no, it's, this is the same as the extension. Okay? The change of height, the change of height delta H is the same as the extension. How much the block drop how much the block drop is how much the spring extend. Uh, so, so this delta H, we can substitute with X. Uh, we can substitute with X. So it becomes mg times X. Because how much the block drop, 
how much a block drop is how much the spring extend. Ah, you see the things here. Ah, so what we want to find is the finer, finer speed of the block. Yeah, we want to find the finer speed of the block. Yeah. Ah, so yeah, VB is our target. Yeah, we want to find the finer velocity of the block. Plus half k x square. Ah, so ah, k is the force constant. Yeah. Ah, uh, if you look at here. Yeah, it give, already give you the uh, mass of the block. This is the mass, and spring constant is the k. Uh, this is the k value. Okay, uh, stretch. Uh, this is the x. This is the extension of the spring. How much the block drop is how much the extension. Okay, so we already got all the values here. So just just substitute inside. So mass is just now is thirty five kilogram. So just put thirty five. Okay, thirty five times the gravity is nine point eight one. Okay, so how much how much the block drop? How much the block drop is how much the spring extension, which is zero point five. Ah, uh, zero point five. So just put zero point five there. Zero point five. So and then half and the mass of the block is uh, again thirty five kilogram. Ah, uh, we want to find the velocity of block B. Okay, and then half. What is the force constant or spring constant? Yeah, sometimes it call force constant. Sometimes it call spring constant. It's the same. Ah, uh, three hundred and fifty newton per meter. So three hundred and fifty. Just put three hundred and fifty. Okay, and then extension is zero point five. Yeah, it's the same as how much a block drop. Ah, uh, half k square. Ah, uh, so done. So now we can find the velocity b. The block, the the final velocity of block b after it has fall down zero point five meter. So let's calculate. Okay, now. Okay, so the speed of the block is two point seven zero. Ah, speed of the block is two point seven zero. Okay, meter per second. Ah, so is that correct? Two point seven zero. Let's check the answer. Yeah, two point seven zero. Yes, the final speed of the block is two point seven two point seven zero meter per second. Okay, that's correct. So we always only find the changes. Yeah, only find the changes in the energy. Ah, uh, the changes is always the same. Yeah, the changes is always ah uh, changes of energy is always the same. Ah, uh, the same. How much? Ah, uh, yeah, the change of energy is always the same. How much drop is how much increase? Yeah, how much an energy form decrease? Is how much it convert to other form of energy. You know, how much of this form of energy drop is the same as how much the other form, the other form of energy increase. This is all talking about energy conversion. Yeah, here is all about energy conversion. Energy conversion from one form to the other. Yeah, it changing from potential energy. To kinetic energy and elastic potential energy in the spring. So it is about the energy conversion, and the energy conversion is the same. How much it drops of in one form of, in one form of energy will be equal to how much increase in in another form of energy. Okay, so that's all for this question. Bye bye.